fabulous moment on the stage for our six youth players that have played through today's World Championship qualifiers and have qualified for the Lakeside 2023. One of them could emulate the lady from England here, Bo Greaves, the current Lakeside World Champion for the ladies. On the bare face of this, you look at this tournament and you look at this particular game and with the way that Bo has been played this year and has been playing through the tournaments, you'd be sitting there thinking, well, it's just whether she can whether she can continue, I should say, with the remarkable stat of not having dropped a leg in the tournament. But there is a subplot. And that subplot was that Mayomi Uchi yesterday drew Bo Greaves in the first round of the World Open and defeated Bo four legs to one with a 94.66 average. So, Bo knows that this isn't a straightforward, not that I think she ever takes games as being straightforward, but she knows that this one is not straightforward. And if Mayumi can find the form that she found in that particular game on the floor uh, yesterday, the then we're in for an absolute ball. belter. Both players start on by going for the bullseye and Bo hits the 25. Amy a bit more slow and deliberate and has hit the bullseye, so she's won the first of the battles. First leg, it's Mayumi to throw first. Game on. Yep, as you say, an interesting one. Mm. That we have in store here. So, Bo, as I was saying, her qualification route is just, well, it can only be described as exemplary. Mm. Th three group games, 4 0, 4 0, 4 0, with a 98.56 average being the standout effort against Henrietta Honore of Denmark. And then Three consecutive 5 0 wins, but most remarkably, with the same average in all three games in the last 64, the last 32, and the last 16, Bo struck a 90.54 average in all three of those games against Petra Leighton, Samantha Piccolo, and Sharon Stratzmar Pool before she then 55. whitewashed Rachna David from Norway. Again, 5 0, just this time with an 80.81 average. So. Yeah, I think I worked it out yesterday that those 90.54 averages, she took 83 darts to win the match. 83 darts to win five legs. And 83 darts to win a leg half the time. 45. Chance in for Bo. Mayumi Uchi. One of the Japanese stars of darts that we have saw, especially in the ladies' game over the past few oh, years, yeah. qualify for these tournaments. Mayumi, no stranger to the World Masters, has appeared on the stage a few times in the past. But you've got players the likes of Yuki Sakaguchi, who qualified and played at the Australian Open as Mayumi Uchi. Fires in the first maximum of the day in the ladies' competition. Excellent stuff. And players like Yuki Sakaguchi, Kasumi Sato, qualified to play on, I believe, at the World Masters 2019, Kasumi Sato played. Mm. And then, of course, Mikuru Suzuki, our twice world champion. Whom, if I'm not mistaken, will have to go through the qualifiers if she wants to get back to Lakeside. She has indeed. She was um, fortunately. Mikuru was unwell yesterday. 136 to leave. Tops after 15. 180 followed by 136. Yes, um, Mikuru was not feeling great yesterday, so she took the, she took the option of not playing yesterday with a view to hopefully qualifying as one of the two ladies that qualify for Lakeside tomorrow. But, uh, and this is tops then for Mayumi Uchi. 
to take the first leg of the tournament off of Bo Greaves. Bo back on 267 as well. Rashna David had the chance to take a couple of legs mm. off Bo yesterday mm -hmm. and didn't. As Bo breathes again, needs a massive score here. On a run of 32 legs without loss. And now Bo starts to find the trebles. Much, much better for the world champion. Left herself 127 in game. Mm. It could be 20 in game. Oh, oh where's that gone? Oh. oh okay. Double four we have. Slightly wayward. Resets. Oh, oh, no. no Have to double apart from the one she wanted. Well, this would be extremely painful. And it's not going to happen. Very rare we see Bo showing her emotions. But occasionally it does come to the surface. Double ten again then for Mayo Miyuchi. Double six and then double 13 in the previous attempt, but this time she nails the double 10, takes the first leg and both steps up with real determination. You could almost see that in the strides that she took to the hockey there, as if to say, come on girl, let's get this going. Tons of good start. It certainly is, and the, the 32 leg unbeaten run is over. Hmm. The one thing Bo's not gonna be able to do in, t in this game is get into a rhythm, hmm. because Miami will play at her own pace it's not a deliberate act in any way, shape or form. It's the way that she plays her darts and always has. So. 100. And as you can see, after she released the darts, she's as quick as anybody going up to the hockey. So the gamesmanship, just the way that she plays the game. And every player has to get used to playing someone who's quick or someone who's slow. The only comparison I could draw is that something a bit like Justin Pipe, who mm. extremely deliberate and methodical in his throw, but He's like Usain Bolt taking his darts out of the board. Yes. Yes, he is. We can have a look at Mayumi's run to the semi-finals. Started, 45. went through the group stage unscathed. Did not drop a leg in the group stage. Moa Lofstrand of Sweden, Alexandra Grezik zilka and Sayaka Cameo all fell 4-0 to Mayumi. And in the last 64, she played Herlin van Rosmalen. 5-0 victory there. Fellow Japanese Yoko Tsukui, a 5-3 victory. Then a 5-3 victory over World Championship finalist Kirsty Hutchinson before defeating Wendy Harper by five legs to three. So very much a lady on form is Mayumi Uchi. 1-2-1 one, one after nine though for Bo Grieve. Shots on, 25, yes, double 18 for a 1-2-1. One, one. Very close. But she will be back with Miami back on back on two one six. And she's gonna need to hit a treble now to leave her finish as well. And she's found that treble. Eighty three to leave one three three. But bow on thirty six. Wow. Double nine. She baffled wow. herself there. I had the composure to hit the double two. And it's one leg all. There's Mayumi Uchi. Gets her starting in the third leg. As I mentioned on stage, Bo Greaves. 14 titles she's won this year alone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Won the England Open. The Welsh 16. Open, the Isle of Man Classic, the Isle of Man Open, the Dutch Open, the Romanian Open, the British Classic, the England Classic, the Viking Cup, the Irish Open, the Irish Classic, the Czech Open, the Australian Open, and of course the World Championship. Just greedy in my opinion. Mm. Yes, 11, <laughs> 11 platinum and gold tournaments throughout the year that the men and ladies have been playing for, and only four women have have secured a gold ticket to the lakeside because of Bo's dominance. The others being Dieter Hebman, 
Lisa Ashton and the New Zealander, Victoria Monaghan. Far different story in the men's tournaments where only Yella Klassen has doubled up. He won the Dutch Open and the Irish Open. All of the other gold and platinum tournaments have been won by different players. Well, they're both in again. Good back. Back. It's back to back. We suggested that Naomi, if she played as she did on the floor against Bo yesterday, this could be a cracking game. And it's proving to be so. Again, there are subplots all around the World Masters in both the ladies and the men's tournaments as, as they look to secure places at the lakeside. Of course, if Bo wins the tournament, she's already in. However, if any of the other three ladies happen to win the tournament, then it's a different story altogether. This lady, Maomi Uchi, is one of those that could really put the cat amongst the pigeons. Double 12 for a 12 data. Wow. Great stuff. That has taken Mayumi Uchi's average to just under 90. 86. Not too shabby either. It just begs the question does Mayumi Uchi have Bo Greaves' number? Mm. Quite incredible stuff here. 140. Our other semi final sees Natalie Gilbert take out Almundina Fajardo of Spain. A real year that Almundina has had. In fact, a real year that Natalie has had really bursting onto the scene. She was there and thereabouts, but never quite into the lakeside field in 2021. But uh, this year, with a, an exceptional last few weeks as well, Natalie has pushed herself up and is, is on the cusp of getting into lakeside. If she makes the final, she'd be at lakeside. That's how tough it is for her. That thought's going to be in, the, in her mind a little bit, perhaps. It's Bo's turn to be on a 1-2-1 one, one finish after nine. Oh. 25. She hit the, typically hit the ball. Eight left. Eight left after 12. Piece of cake. World class from the world champion. Looks as though we're going to go 2-2. Two, two. Well, it still looks as though we're going to go 2-2, two, two, but the pressure's on this double four now. Oh, so thought it was in. Went for a walk. Or did well not to go for a walk, as ah. the case were. Oh, my goodness me. She's hit double two once. Wow. And she's left herself on double one. And there's an opportunity here for the Japanese lady. She's already taken 81 once. To win the third leg, can she extend her lead by breaking the Bogri's throw and leading 3-1? Treble 19, she hit it when she wanted the 81 in the previous leg. She will eventually throw. It's going to have to be 12 in the ball. Triple 12 would leave double 13. She certainly went for the treble 12, but bullseye here for a 3-1 lead for Mayumi Uchi. She hit the bullseye going for the bull up, and she's hit the wire of the bullseye there. One up, one in for Bo. Nice marker. Two up, one in for Bo. No. Oh, wasn't to be. One up, pinhead, the three of them. And now... Yet another chance for the Japanese. Is it nine or is it 17? 17, double four. It's gone that 
deathly silent. Oh. <laughs> literally get a pin drop. The crowd are recognising, I think, what we're on the verge of here. And it's still on. A shout of keep your head, Bo. Yeah, I think that was Miss Hutchinson. It was indeed, yes. Surprised she's got any vocal cords left after the shouting she was doing at the football last night. Mm. Again, absolute silence here. It's people watching on. And it's a double <laughs> one game. Then the bo both girls have a smile now. We've got to the semi-final of the World Masters and we're playing down the dog and duck on double one. <laughs> Surely. Surely. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic expressions from Bo Greaves. And I can only imagine her sister, you can see her sister there sitting right at the front, Bobby. Goes to all of the tournaments with Bo. Inseparable, the two of them. Yep. And Biggest supporter and part-time nurse as well. Man, we trying to recover her composure. It's 2-2. Two, two. Cross with herself. First time you've seen a real expression on the face as if to say, that's not good enough, that big one. 41, 41 might be an opening for Ms. Greaves. Move across, stay on the 20s. Good decision. Very good decision. Excellent darts once again. A reminder that we have Natalie Gilbert against. Almundina Fajardo as our second semi-final. And then we will move on to the men's semi-finals where we'll have the American Danny Lauby on his birthday defeated Wales' Nick Kenny in his quarter-final. Wesley Pezia beat his fellow countryman Davy Prostenf. And so Danny Lauby will take on that Wesley plays here. Wesley had the best average of the four winning the semi-finals by, by a good distance, to be fair, 96.03. Next winning line was Danny's 85. So whether that tells a tale, but each game differs, of course. And then our second men's semi-final, Hong Kong's Kai Fan Leung will take on Barry Copeland, who literally scraped home by the skin of his teeth against Kay Smiths, who had... A dart at double 18 to win the final leg off a 156 out shot wasn't to be, and Barry Copeland made his way through into the semi final. We do, of course, also have the girls and boys finals on this wow. afternoon as well, the stroke this evening. We have Lida Lanko of Finland. We'll take on Paige Pauling of England in the girls' final. Are yet another two nations. 139 here. Pause is 79. Oh, oh hello. my word. Double 11 for a 3 2 lead. Oh. Little. Sorry, didn't I carry on? No, I was just going to say a little dance there. I was mm. to say, ah. 18 for tops. Tops it is then for Bo. Bent the wire. 31. I was just going to say the look on Bo's really face as that treble 19, mm. but then it was a look of, mm. why won't you go away? <laughs> three then for double four. For Mayu Miucci. There's the three. Nice, big, solid three. <laughs> double four then. Again, the crowd are hushed. You can see behind everyone watching the screens. And it's not there. And can Bo take this tops? Tens then. No, oh it's not to be. Both girls could theoretically be 4-1 up at the end of this leg. It's going to be 3-2 one way or the other, but 
We're not quite sure which way. The Averages will be taking a bit of a battering with his missed doubles, but it's still exciting stuff. If they could turn their scoring into hitting the doubles. And there we go. Mayu Miyuki leads 3-2, and Bo steps up again. Come on, she says. As we mentioned, the, the girls final in the World Masters. Lida Lanko, Ilda Lanko, sorry, from Finland, and Paige Pauling from England. And we also have, of course, the boys' final, which threatens to be a real belter, Luke Littler. England has taken all before him, of course, has already qualified for the World, World Championships in the seniors, has now also qualified for the juniors, and now has the World Masters in his sights. And he will be taking on America's Peter Stewart Jr., who defeated the home talent of Bradley van der Velden. 60. Uh, yes, look forward to that one. But before that, we have the conclusion of this game, the other ladies' semi-final, and, of course, the two men's semi-finals. Bo has a 80-point lead here, but that's been whittled away, and oh, she's been overtaken. Okay. You said it in the previous leg, Anthony. Naomi Uchi is going absolutely nowhere. 57. Mm, and Uchi has the advantage in this leg, assuming she can score more than one. <laughs> yes, yes, she can. As long as she doesn't do a Gary Anderson. I was just about to say exactly, <laughs> exactly the same thing. <laughs> ah, she's smiling, but inside I'm sure she's disappointed with that because she knows that was an opportunity. Bo smiles there. She's got this one right in the middle of the treble. 100. <laughs> Looks to the sky in despair. 60 points in front as Bo Greaves, having thrown three darts more. <laughs> 60. The average is at that, the end of that third leg. Bo Greaves 86.27 and Miami Uchi 89.35. That's despite the number of doubles that they were having at, uh, sorry, the number of darts that they've been having at doubles in each leg. So shows the standard of the actual scoring this game. Q Miami to hit 26. Nope, that's not going to happen. She really needs a treble here. Oh, and she's found the treble as well. One, two, four. Eminently more easy than one, three, nine, you'd suggest. Or Shots is on. it? Not now, but tops left after this, surely. Big 20. 99. Yep, good leave. Sure to you now, Mayumi. Yeah, treble 20 or singles, not the worst thing that can happen because it's still an opportunity, but 14 or treble 14. She went for the treble 12 when she wanted... Oh, and that slipped into the treble 11. So 93 scored. Leaves her 31. And she's... I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to Mayumi. There is no way she went for a treble 8 there. No, I don't think so. Surely not. Nevertheless, Bo Greaves. The restored parity at 3-3. Tops, 10s now. She missed this last time around. Fives. No. Oh, my goodness Five. me. Miami requires 16. We are not used to seeing Bo Greaves missing doubles mm. like this. Mm -hmm. What a chance it's given Mayumi Uchi. And the expression of pain on Bo's face. A picture in itself. Wow. That's very lucky. Very lucky to be in the eight. She nearly knocked Bo off the stage. <laughs> Stepping back. All looking... Entirely unimpressed with it all. Entirely unimpressed with the whole game, I think. Mm. Another attempt at double four for a 4 2 lead. And that one's also on the wire. So Bo comes back for double five for a 22 dart leg. It is a 22 dart leg and it's 3 3. <laughs> And they, as we suggested, the, the averages there took a bit of a beating. Bow down now to a 76. She, 76? You ever seen the like? 
Naomi is still above her on an 80.27. But as you can see, everyone's still engrossed in this game. 100. This is what the Windmill World Masters can do. Players from all around the world. When you go on the European tour, or the Australians do the Australian circuit, or the New Zealanders do the New Zealand 100. circuit, you know the players. You know what you're going to be playing against yep. every week. You know that you're going to have a slow player or a quick player to play against. Here it's just, sorry, we don't know each other. Of course people know Bo because she's the world champion. Chatting away to herself again. 81, I think. 81. Yeah, good call, Christian. Christian Sorensen, our referee from Denmark. Done a sterling job all week. Had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and now Sunday Matches on the stage, calling matches along with our Dutch friend, Marco Meyer. Yeah, he's put quite the shift in, has Christian. Did the, the lion's share of the matches on the stream yesterday. Did, yeah. Just due to Marco having other commitments in the commentary box as well. Mm -hmm. 49. Whereas me, it's actually nice to be doing a bit of proper work today for a change. I've been <laughs> plumbed into this commentary box all week. So don't don't do yourself any do do yourself down without the commentary. Try our best to give everyone a bit of a flavour of what's happening here in Assen. You used the words utter drivel earlier, which is probably how some people see what we're doing, but uh, inane, hopefully inane, inane, inane drivel. drivel, I beg your pardon. I hopefully there's <laughs> one or two people out there that are Enjoying the coverage, enjoying the comms. And I did receive a couple of nice compliments about the commentary yesterday, so that was... From that was family, or...? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was greatly appreciated. Yeah. Of course. And you've done a, a great job. One seven one then, for Miami. She has the advantage here, albeit Bo is on a finish on one five two. She has the advantage now, I'd suggest. Another one in there. Lee's 51. 11 or 19? 11 was her choice. Fabulous darts. This would just be the most bow grief thing ever for us to take this out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Double 16. Oh. oh. And she punches her own hand because she knows that that was a real turning point in the game. Would have given her a break of throw. But Naomi now. 40 points away from a 4-3 lead. And she's now got that 4-3 lead. Bose decided to take a glass of water in the previous legs. She's literally thrown herself up to the hockey and gone for it. More of a considered approach this time. But again, just look in the background. Everybody watching this game on the screens that they have. In this fantastic setup here in Assen. Just to the left and just to the right. Big screens showing what you guys can see in your front rooms and your pubs or your clubs, wherever you're watching. Both in, I hear our. Oh, all three in. I hear our spotter, Jacques Nulac call. Well, that just shows the standard of this. Bo's gone ton, ton, is unhappy, and it's not enough. No, it's dangerous. Not quite the fourth treble. Still not quite a fourth treble, but she's staying there. She's going over the top and into the treble five. five. Bo with the chance to retrieve her throw here. Yes. Oh, yes. She most certainly has. One, six, one. Are we going to a ninth and final leg? It looks like it, but you just have to remember, but Bo's doubling has not been good today. Uchi, 80. She needs to come out. Ooh, th good thinking. She nearly threw and left 166, I think, and I think she's now contemplating where she's got to go. It should be at 19s. And she's gone 30. Huh? Now, I am not quite sure what she has done there. 
because neither the four or the six, if you were going the other way, were wrong, uh, were, were the correct throw either. So, I, I, I reiterate, ah, yes, <laughs> yes. I don't understand that. I'm baffled. Baffled, bamboozled, and flummoxed. Treble would lead 73, fifth 45. Definite advantage for Bo Grease. Can she hit the 60? Of course she can. Tops them for a four all game. And yes. has she found her doubling? Right at the crucial moment, Bo Grease hits her first dart at a double for the first time in this match. Come on, she says, you can see her. Look at her talking to herself in the background. It's been a cakewalk up to now. 32 legs played, 32 legs won. And now we're 4-4 in the semi-final of the Windmill World Masters. 18-year-old Bo Greaves. Against Mayumi Uchi. 43-year-old girl from Japan. 60. A reasonable start. She's gone for a long old walk round Ascent at the back of the stage Ooh, there. 59. Mayumi, not quite sure where she was doing. But Halfway to the train station. Yeah. This is the difference. Oh, my word. That's beautiful. Absolutely central. Can she go over that second dart? Crash into the first. Oh! It was crashing to the floor. It's 80 floor, as you would say. Indeed. Thank you very much to Christian. Ever the gentleman. That's beautiful as well for Bo. Can she crash into the first dart? Yes, she can. And it's advantage England by 59 points. Has not led at any point in this match. Great shout. Reeves. Great shout, yes, of course. Is the, sorry. I was just going to say, I think Miami's scoring power has deserted mm. her at the worst possible is moment. It, is it the pressure is what I was going to ask? I is think it the you could be spot on that. Scoreboard pressure, I think. It, not only is it four all, but Bo's just hit a 140. She knows a ton here. Ah, she wanted the ton there to really put the pressure on her opponent. In with a chance still, Miami. She needs a ton here. Minimum, you would suggest. Yep, 76 points adrift. Oh, yes. Now then. Pressure, what pressure? There's, there's a gap there for her to get through. And she's hit, that's a 120, I think she's lost on the floor. This leg, so, so unlucky. 80 floor of the second. And Bo Greaves punishing. Oh yes, to leave 102. Naomi knows now she needs a two treble visit. Keep that 120 and it's 118 and an out shot. That's how cruel this game can be. And that is cruel as well. Oh, needed that. Needs another big treble, you'd suggest. 83. She's left to finish, but will it be enough? 102. Oh. 10 for oh. double 16. Double 16 for a 5 4 win. It's looked unlikely, it has to be said, the way. The doubles have been going for Bo and the way Miami has been playing. 1-5-5 five, five to defeat Bo Greaves again for the second time this week. Is there one last twist? Oh, no, not to be. Not in this, le not one, not with this turn, should we say. Oh, my goodness Another mate. one on the floor. I think, to be fair, that hit the other dart rather than the wire. It sounded a bit more clunky than the previous two. Is that a technical term? Clunky, yes, yes. I'm going to add that to the darting dictionary. Yes. He's been 1 0 down, 2 1 down, 3 2 down, 4 3 down. And Bo Reeves has won this one five legs to four. Nice words between the two ladies. Yes, and I think Bo's pointing out there that she had three darts on the floor in that last second. Yeah. She knows how fortunate she's been. Oh, how. The Brilliant. deepest bow I have ever seen in my life <laughs> from Mayumi Uchi, who exits the competition at the semi-final stage, but will not be in any way, shape or form disgraced or disheartened. She's been fantastic. This Bo Greaves, though, 
The world champion looks to become world master, and she's into the final, five legs to four.